We told you about a great thing uh, that's happening uh, from the left. Oh, hey, that's good news, right? Living Wage Act in California is going to raise the minimum wage, uh, minimum wage to eighteen dollars. Okay, that makes a huge difference uh, for California. So what happened? Of course, you have to have bad news. But hold on, there's good news buried in the bad news, okay? So uh, here's this update from the Sacramento Bee. California Secretary of State Shirley Weber announced last month that a measure to increase the state's minimum wage to $18 an hour failed to qualify for the November 2022 ballot. Ugh. So why did it fail to qualify? Because there was very confusing verbiage. Uh, they said that uh, you have to get the uh, ballots in so that they register by July 13th and June 30th. They said both, why? It turns out July 30th, 13th is for the 2024 ballot, not the 2022 ballot. Oh, Jesus Christ. And you had to get it in for June 30th. But a lot of the, the counties made the mistake. So, but the voters actually want it. Put it on the ballot, put it on the ballot. So um, to give you a sense of how important this is, this would mean the average minimum uh, uh, wage workers raise per year would be $6,240. That's the raise you get every year from the minute that it passes. So it's gotta pass now, we don't, don't have time for 2024. We gotta go now and it's incredibly popular. Not only that, the extra wage that California workers would get per year, we did the calculation based on the $18 and how many people it affects, because it affects 5 million people. And that's at a bare minimum, it actually raises everybody else's wages. But just for the minimum wage workers, that says transfer of $31.2 billion every single year to the average worker instead of the executives. So that's a, it's a wonderful bill and it's incredibly popular. And can they put it on the ballot? Oh, of course, but this is when every single Democrat would give up and go, Oh, well, it didn't make it onto the ballot. The Secretary of State said it, there's nothing we can do. Well, let me read you the next line from the Sacramento Bee. Uh, now, advocates of the proposal are suing her. No, they're not giving up. They're like, uh, mm, we're not elected Democrats, we can just fight. Okay, so we're gonna fight to get it on the ballot and we're right, you're wrong, so we're gonna win. By the way, I don't want you to hold it against uh, Shirley Weber who's the Secretary of State. She actually has a great story uh, and, and she was like, a, she, she's at, was the first female African American Secretary of State uh, and her family had to come to California because they ran from a literal lynch mob in Arkansas when she was two years old. She was a, I think she was a, a professor by the age of 23. So it's it's not that she's a bad guy here, it's a bureaucracy. But she can be the hero, she can change this rule. There's one other person that could easily change this situation. I'm gonna get to that person at the end. So uh, let me give you a quote from uh, Joe Sandberg, who's the person who funded the wage uh, issue, this ballot issue in the first place. Uh, he said the intent of the voters around this ballot measure was clear. They want an opportunity to vote for a wage hike this November. That's 100% true. Neither pandemic nor bureaucratic failure should get in the way of California's exercising their democratic right. More than 1 million people signed on to put an $18 wage hike on the ballot this November. We're we were signing petitions faster than we could print them. They should have the opportunity to cast their votes in November. Okay, put it on the ballot, hashtag let us vote. We wanted a million people, that's way more than enough. It's only about bureaucracy. And let me give you the polling because this is intensely popular. New polling conducted this week shows that more than two thirds of California voters support the measure. And three in four voters support Governor Newsom placing the measure directly in the November ballot. In challenging a midterm election cycle where Democrats are facing significant headwinds, the polling shows that 85% of the voters are more likely to turn out with this measure on the ballot. Just last week, the California Democratic Party endorsed the measure for the 2022 ballot. So the Democratic Party is theoretically in favor of it. The voters are massively in favor of it. And they're saying, if Gavin Newsom does this, We'd be way more in favor of Gavin Newsom. How much clearer does it have to be? And it's not just Joe Sandberg that's pushing it. He's the one that introduced it. But now uh, others have joined on. Ada Berseno, who's the chairwoman of the Democratic Party in Orange County and Unite Here Local 11 co-president. So union is in, Democratic Party officials are in. Congresswoman Nanette Barragan, a US Congresswoman is in. Several more Congress people are adamant that this gets put on the ballot measure. So who's the one person who can make the biggest difference and solve this right away? This guy, Gavin Newsom, he could actually make the decision right now and it goes on the ballot. This is the biggest no brainer of all time. 
put it on the ballot, all of your voters want it, not even just the Democrats, all of the voters in California want it. What's the hard part? This is why people get frustrated with Democratic politicians. Here is great progressives. Joe Sandberg spent $11 million to try to get this on the ballot. Because Democratic politicians don't act, so he's like, I'll just do it. I'll do it, I'll give you the change. And now they won't let it on the ballot. Hashtag let us vote, let us vote. Living Wage Act, it needs to be on the 22 ballot right now. And look guys, the most important part of the story is, it turns out there is something you can do. When you run into a roadblock, you're supposed to fight past it. So don't believe the hype from Democratic politicians. Get in there and get in the fight. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.